morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, give you guys a few seconds to get on. Just bear with me. Um, today, I'm going to cover a very popular question and concern from those that are in the travel industry and those that may be interested in the travel industry, those that are trying to compare different projects and so on. Um, a question I've been getting lately is, what is the difference between being a travel agent versus a travel um, savings ambassador and a difference in the income potential? So from someone who has been doing this for over five years, I feel like I'm more than qualified to explain the difference. I'm even gonna share my screen so that you guys can see a true comparison between the income potential. So I see you guys in here. I'll make sure I have my leaders tag on here. And if I forgot to tag anyone, please excuse me. Okay, all righty. So what's the difference between a travel savings ambassador and a travel agent. Um, over the past five years, I have been booking travel the traditional way. What is that? That's where you satisfy the needs of a client that wants to travel. So they may have a place that they have in mind that they want to go. Um, you work with a vendor to put that together. And then um, your client either pays in full for it or you put them on a payment plan to do it. Um, the major difference between this, the travel savings ambassador and a travel agent, number one is that is the price. As a, as a travel savings ambassador, you're able to pass over wholesale rates to your customers. As a travel agent, you're booking the travel at retail. So in this example that I'm gonna show you guys really quick, cause I, I feel like if you see it, it'll make more sense to you. I wanna show you guys a trip that I just looked up for someone that wanted to go to Cancun. And this is July 25th through July 21st. Let me share my screen. And I just wanna let you guys know that you may hear my computer beeping because I get alerts all day from my team. So please excuse me. Okay, so here's an example. So I have someone that's, about to partner with me in business, actually after seeing this. Um, they wanna go to Cancun in July, July 15th through the 21st. Um, it's actually gonna be a post-wedding trip or something like that, but they wanted a great deal. Um, they reached out to me as just a travel agent. They, they reached out to me to be able to just book the trip for them. They weren't expecting to get a deal like this. So I had an option. I could have booked this the traditional way and referred it to the company or chose a vendor and they would have paid $1,800 or I could have booked them as a travel savings ambassador through my IGO account and they only pay $733. So let me explain the difference here. Now, this first property, this is what I would get off as a distributor. This is a five-star property with Fairmont. It's an all-inclusive property. The public price, as you can see on Expedia, is over $1,800. Hotels.com is over $1,800. Cheap tickets is over $1,800. On Booking.com is over $1,900. Travelocity, Orbitz, Hotwire, Priceline, everybody is over $1,800 to stay at this property for two people, all-inclusive, from July 15th to July 21st. That's six days, maybe seven days, but that's what they would pay if they would have went online. And that's what they were expecting to pay if they would have went online. So I had to think about my household, which option would I make more money on? So if I was to book this with a vendor, I would have to book it based off of a price of $1,844. Now the vendors pay Commission based on the net rate, not the taxes. And I go, this is the total with the taxes. So I know that with the taxes on $1,800, it may be about $1,600 with the vendor. The vendor is only going to pay out between 10 to 20% to the travel agency. 
So let's just go on a high end. I'm gonna get my calculator out. So let's say $1,600 times 0.20%. That's only $320. That $320 is gonna go to the travel agency and the agency is only gonna give you 75% of that amount. So you're looking at a commission of $240 on the high end, because I based it off of 20%. It's very rare that a vendor pays out 20%. It's normally between 10 to 13, somewhere in there percent. So I'm doing this on the high end. So that's $240 you would make off of this. Now, in this example here on iGo, as you can see here, the savings is $1,112. The total with taxes for two people to stay at this five-star property is only $733. This includes the all-inclusive fee. So for $733, they could stay at this five-star property in um, Mexico, all food included. You guys know all inclusive me? That's all food included, all alcohol included. They could leave their wallet at home, $733. So to be able to save someone over $1,000 is amazing. Now, let me explain how we get paid. You earn half of what you save your customer. So in this example here, what's half of $1,112? That's over 500, right? $1,112 divided by two. That's $556. Now this particular customer um, decided that they wanna be a business partner instead because they wanna be able to get the whole $1,100 off as a customer they only get half of that amount off, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna ask yourself, where are you gonna make your most money? Are you gonna make money booking it as a traditional travel agent or are you gonna make more money booking it as a TSA? Now you're gonna have some people, let me take this off share really quick. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So you're gonna have some people plans and that's absolutely okay if they need it. If they need a payment plan, you're just going to use a vendor. When they're booking through your wholesale site, they have to pay in full. But if you're able to save somebody $200, $300, $400, $1,000, and they don't have to pay you a membership fee, they don't have to pay you anything to become a customer because your customer base is free. Now, as a travel agent, what I always heard is, why would I book through you when I can just book it online? If you're doing it at the same price, why do I have to book it through you instead of booking it online? I've never heard that as a travel savings ambassador because you're saving them money. You're giving them rates that they can't get online. You're not marking up the cost like Expedia and Hotwire and all those um, different marketing sites are doing. You are booking it through your iGo system. You're able to pass half of your savings over to them. And what happens is a lot of the customers see that if they became an insider, that they will get double that price off. So they decide to become business partners. And at the end of the day, it's my goal to spread the word. So I always show them a comparison. I say, hey, okay, if you book it on the customer site, you get $500 off. But if you become a, cust a business partner, then you get $1,000 off. They save more in one trip than they pay for a whole year being in the business in so many cases. So I wanna make sure you guys clearly understand the difference between the both. Um, also, a major difference is that you're not doing any work. As a traditional travel agent, I had to reach out to the vendor. I had to schedule the payment plans. I had to send them credit card authorization forms. I had to key in all the payments. I had to remind my customer to pay. I had to do all those things. If they had issues, guess who they called? They called me. As a travel savings ambassador, I'm just sending you a promo code. I'm sending to you a six-digit code that's going to give you access to my wholesale rates. You are going to activate that code, and then you have access to this website for life to book your travel whenever you choose to. You book it yourself, and that site comes with the best customer service ever, and it's 24-7. So for any reason, let's say you're going through the website and you don't see a hotel that you like, and guess what? You just call the number. They'll look in the inventory. They'll pull it in for you and book it. 
you also accumulate points on your own, but it takes away the liability of booking like a traditional travel agent. I know some agents that, that book group travel, and I love being an agent, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being an agent, but what I love about this is that everybody can win, even that person that's busy, that's working so many hours per week, they want to get a piece of this travel industry, but they're not, they're not sure how they can fit it in their schedule. Anybody can send out a boomerang. It takes two seconds. You got somebody's email, you send them a promo code, they can book their travel, and for life, you're going to earn 50% of what they save. So I want you to think about everybody that you know that loves to travel. Everybody. If they love to travel, you just send them a boomerang and let them book. So imagine them saving $200, you made $100. Imagine them saving $500, you made $250. What if they save $2,000, you made $1,000. And not once did you send them a credit card authorization form? Did you have a negotiated payment plan? Did you have to talk to them about buyer's insurance, travel's insurance? None of that. You didn't have to do anything. All you had to do is send them this code. So there is a huge difference. I am in love with being a travel savings ambassador. I've always had access to the wholesale site, but I, in the past, I could not pass my savings over to the public. And I'm so glad I can do that now because everybody doesn't want to be a business partner, but people love to travel. Now, those that you know want to make additional income, those individuals, it's a game changer. Um, again, I got involved in the travel industry for tax purposes. I didn't know it was going to turn into this, into being a full-time income. I did it for taxes. So for those that need a tax break and you want to be able to write off 100% of your travel, you want to be able to write off some of those bills that you're paying in the household. Because once you run a home-based business, your bills become business expenses and you can write them off. But talk to your tax professional about that. I'm not in it for that. But I really, I'm not on here for that. But I just wanted to share with you guys so you can see the bigger picture of the difference because people are asking it all the time what's the difference in this and doing something else it's a major difference we're the only company that gives you the option to earn cash back on a wholesale site without charging your customers we pay monthly like i pay a hundred dollars a month to operate my business but my customers pay nothing and i love that just imagine if I had to charge my customers $50 a month to have access to the wholesale site. Do you think I would have as many customers? Absolutely not. So I love the fact that I pay $99 a month. My customer base is free and it's going to keep dripping on them. Every time they look into that website at different trips, the website's going to keep on reminding them, hey, Cancun is 30% off. Hey, Jamaica's 20% off. Hey, don't book on that site. It's cheaper here. So I absolutely love it. I got so much of my time back. I don't have to worry about um, payment plans and all of that. But when it comes to group travel, you guys, if you have any group trips that you want to put together, if you have any, um, any people that need payment plans, then yes, use a vendor or refer it to the company and they will take care of you and they'll do all the work and then you'll just earn 25% commission. Or if you have access to vendors because you came from the TG side, book it yourself and get your 75% commission. But it's a game changer. You earn way more money as a travel savings ambassador than you would as a traditional travel agent. For those that love booking a traditional way, flat out amazing. But now you have options because when that customer says, hey, I've seen it $10 cheaper online, then go to your iGo and give them the wholesale rate. I guarantee you, you're probably going to make more money that route anyway. Yes, they have to pay in full, but if you're saving them $1,000, they got an option to make. Do I want to save $1,000 and pay in full, or do I want to pay full price and get on the payment plan? There's no difference with your credit cards or any bills that you have. It's called interest, right? So either you pay in full and you don't pay the interest, or you pay more over time, if you choose to do a payment plan, it's life, it's just how it goes. But what I love about this is that we earn when our customers save. We do not have to mark up the cost. In a traditional way, my goal was for you to pay the highest package possible and I was always upselling, trying to get you to buy more things. I don't have to do that with this. My goal is for you to save as much as you can because the more you save, the more my family earns. And if you got a free site, and you're able to get access to rates that nobody else can get, you're my customer for life. You're never going to go anywhere. And the company offers 110% price match guarantee.
So I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna go on Facebook really quick and check. I'm sorry, you guys, these braids everywhere. And see if you guys have any questions on here before I come off. Okay, let's see. Okay, so Candace says she just saved her client $382. She's loving it. Um, the major differences. There go my goofy friend, Sean. <laughs> um, let's see. Sean says, send him a site. Sean, I sent you one. You never activated your code. I'm gonna send it again. Um, hold on, you guys. Hold on, let me try to look at it from my computer. It looks like I'm frozen on my phone. Thank you, Deidre. Hold on, you guys. Be patient with me. I'm about to go to Facebook and make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, let's see. It says I have 23 comments, but I only see four. So let me... Probably because I'm still live, I can't see everything. But that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this live down. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just answer your questions on the post if you have it. But again, I just wanna make sure you guys understand the difference and how simple this is for you to make money in this business, especially you guys. Another thing I wanna add, those that are builders like me, I'm a builder because I learned early in this game that you can create wealth much quicker as a team than you can by yourself. There's only so much I can do by myself. And one thing that I learned from this industry versus corporate is that in the corporate space, I only got two weeks of vacation. So if I decided to take more time off, I went unpaid, right? In this industry, and that's only because it's just me, it's based off of just me. But in this industry, when you're working together as a team and all of you have different paths in life for one common goal, which is to win, when you decide to kind of disappear for a month, you still have people to have your back. They're still working. They're still grinding to feed their family. So your check doesn't stop. Your income keeps coming. So what I love about this, if you grind hard in the beginning, you can live off of it for a lifetime and be able to get your time back. Your life isn't controlled by a two-week vacation. So that's what I truly, truly love about it. So builders, you get your time back as a TSA. This is life of income, you guys. This is, this is you send somebody a site one time and they're going to book on it forever. Trust me. You just get them to book that one time so they can see the savings. You share the value of it. Let them see a comparison. Let them see what they're booking online. They don't, they don't know what they don't know. So don't get mad at them if they book on a different site. Just understand they don't know that they don't know. They don't realize that they can get discounted rates until you show them. So what I like to do sometimes, I slap it in their face. I go to their page and see that they just went on vacation. I'll look the trip up on my I go. And I'll say, hey, isn't this where you just went? Well, next time, you know, let me send you a promo code so you can go a lot cheaper. A lot of them gonna think it's a catch to it because they're so used to you know, paying full price. And anytime they see something amazing, most people just gonna assume it's a scam or something like that. No. What you gotta realize is when you book online, they're not they're not being nice and say, hey, I'm gonna give it to you for free without marking up the cost. No, the price is already marked up. Somebody behind the scene is getting paid. All we do is eliminate that markup. And the fact that there's over 70,000 of us in what, two, 70 days? What is this? We're not even 90 days old on the boomerang side. It's over 70,000 of us booking in this site. So the more people, customers that we have, the better the rates are going to get. So uh, we absolutely love it. I didn't want to make this too long. I just want to make sure that you guys clearly understood the difference between the both. But to know that you have an option to do it the traditional way as well. That's what I love most about it is that you can do it as a travel savings ambassador, but if you still, if you have those people that still need that travel agent feel, they want somebody to do everything for them, you have that option. So that option isn't gone, but those that 
really want to just not have to have their hands so involved in it and you want to make more money than a traditional agent, then the um, TSA way is the way to go. But both options are available. So love you guys. I hope I covered um, everything. Um, if you have any questions, please comment on the Facebook post and I'm immediately going there now to go ahead and answer all your questions. All righty, take care. And y'all get to work. Build up your customer base. Take care. Bye-bye.